The fucking dream team. Hey, and welcome to our third episode of the S&P podcast. Let me introduce my, uh, let me introduce your host, which is me, Kevin. And we got our co-host, David. And our other co-host. There can be three co-hosts? Yeah. Damn. As many co-hosts as you like. Uh, Lip smacking OG, Jose <laughs> Soso. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a, a few things on today. Um, they didn't bring it up to me earlier. So I think a little, I, just from the gist of what we were talking about earlier, we're going to be talking about how Halo's coming in PC and how did the fans react to 343 releasing it and uh, the new Endgame trailer, right? Yep. The, for um, Avengers. That, v- Avengers. Yes, Avengers coming out. And... What Michael other? Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Okay, Michael Jackson. Okay. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's well let's dig into this. So the first story of today is so three four three finally announced that the Halo uh Master Chief collection is coming to uh PC. And that will include Halo Reach. So that would be very cool. And they're gonna be releasing it in chronological order. And so what do you guys think about that? Like chronological order I or, like, or just like just Halo coming to PC again. How, how big are the increments between them? I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't uh, delved in that deep, but they just said they're going to be releasing them in chronological order. That's amazing. So but, and all the games are remastered. So that so means it's going to be like Halo, Halo. 2, yeah, but Halo. all remastered, like all remastered. Damn. That's going to yeah. break the Internet. Yeah. So um, another another news. Th- when 343 announced it there was a fan it was on twitter um i'll probably post a description on the on the dibbly do um that no one's ever called the, it. <laughs> yeah, like, can we call it yeah, we'll call it the dibbly do <laughs> sounds like someone bill cosby was like good 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 chocolate pudding but uh he decided to just start buying pizzas for all of the Three or three employees, and uh, they were just like, "Okay, this is really cool." And afterwards, it's like, "Hey, man, we can only fill up on so much cheese and dough." It's like, <laughs> "Can you please stop? Our receptionist is going crazy." Right yeah, now. yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, name to me one thing that if like it was remastered and rethrown out there, you would freak out and like think a game studio that hard. Like, what is another thing besides Halo you do? I know. People were like, if Half Life Three came out, like yeah. well, I'd blow mm-hmm. up, I'd do whatever I need to do. But I mean, what is that game for you guys? Uh, okay, so one of the games that had like the best storyline I've ever played in my lifetime uh, was Sweet Coden Two, and that came out on the PS One. Whoa! Take yeah, it back. Yeah, that came out on the PlayStation One, and what was that about? <laughs> it was it was a Japanese RPG, and you. You kind of just start off this story as this one. No, no, no. This one character where you, you and your best friend are in like this youth brigade or something like that, where you're like training to be officers in like you know their their military, military. and uh, it turns out like it got raided, but it got raided by the own army that you have, but they just used it as a form of like, like they said they got raided by the. The other Their enemy, yeah, yeah, but they just use that, like they use them as a, like, a scapegoat. Propaganda, like, kind yeah, of. yeah. It's like, oh, they attacked our youth brigade, so we're gonna go fuck them up. Hmm. But it's like, no, you got betrayed. You survive, and your best friend survives. You don't find that out till later. And You're ruining the game, but yeah, I am ruining the game. But like, the thing is, it's just like it but had again, one of the like to the two people that are, oh, that are backtracking on their PS One games right now. Besides <laughs> being a huge loser and probably the other, uh, yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> no, and you know the 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 funny thing, the story about that game is uh, the way I encountered that game was <laughs> this is probably illegal to talk about, but uh, my uncle yeah, had illegal, had uh, in the Philippines had a. PS1, a modded PS1 that can take like bootleg games, Internet and the game, the the, yeah. the game, the game was bootlegged. So, Fuck. but Damn, even back it, then, yeah, yeah. But like by the when I did play the game, it was already years years old. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just happened to encounter because it was just in a bunch of discs of like these bootleg games, and I played that one, mm-hmm. and that game changed my life. Do you guys remember the first PlayStation One game that you ever played that you're like? It had only been like Nintendo or Sega up until that point. When 
the first thing that I ever played on PlayStation yeah. 1 was Crash Bandicoot. Oh, for real? And that was just like a souped up forward scrolling version of Donkey Kong to me. So it blew my mind. And the I could still tell you, I mean, with all the noises that came from that, like, in my brain like if i if someone ever got rocked it'd be like if they, that would be like a meme worthy <laughs> moment just like <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. dude that would be insane yeah that would be yeah that's a good one man yeah. i didn't yep. even know about that game oh yeah dude this yeah. this game i just kind of like it i kept like there's another game um, if you played it now would you be disillusioned with it you think no actually i think that would be one of the games that i would play again yeah yeah i mean because kind of like how a lot of the people are going crazy about final fantasy 7 i was going to bring up final fantasy 7 going to be remade mm -hmm. like because as long as they do it right or just like keep you know the, they could change a few things but if they could just keep the core of the game like this the story intact, yeah the story intact and i don't know i don't know about gameplay but as long as it's good gameplay i would say it's like looking at it now i know that there's people that played that through they play the game once a year just to play it that's the same way that like i play ocarina of time like every other year just to like just to play it yeah. because it's like it was that monumental to me you know yeah but it's like if they change the gameplay if they remastered ocarina like the full remastered like, like the 3d one which they did reinvent the puzzles for like the dungeons and stuff yeah but uh like a full remaster with gameplay remaster it's like i don't know would they be able to make like the ocarina of time into like a breath of the wild you know what i mean I would appreciate that actually. So I, I mean, there'd be very little. I feel they could. Well, there's a lot they could do to fuck it up, but there's a lot. There's very little they could do to mess it up. Also, yeah, it was just that epic. What about you? What's what's one of your like? You brought up the question. What's that one of your first like? Oh, the first game? PS game. Oh, dude, for me it was. Uh, I remember like very uh, vividly that we went to Sears. Yeah. And they had remember like those fucking things where you would like break your neck. Fucking oh yeah, you just shit? like it, it prevented you from playing too long. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> I know, bro. Remember the blockbuster ones where they used to have that shit? They used to have the console things and they got it all set up and They're, shit. Like crank. Yeah, you just be. Able to yeah, like and then this. if yeah. you played too long on Nintendo your 64, it would burning. turn off and fucking Mario would be like, "Thank you for playing Nintendo really? 64. <laughs> What's the next? Mario, cheap piece of shit. No. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> We're going again. Yeah, no, no, no. But uh, the first one was Siphon Filter. You remember that one? Oh, that one? Yeah. dude, my, my I like that must game, have jizzed in my pants. That, that game was really good. I'm, dude, you, I, you were just unaware of it. You didn't know what that was, but you're like, what's going on? I know. I was like, I yeah, remember the, I pressed the gun and then like, and he started shooting. I'm like, I just shot somebody. I was like, oh, this is so yeah, shit. yeah. That was that was a very good game. Yeah. The first one. Yep. And then like, I actually I don't know where the series went into. I remember seeing the. The second one and blah blah blah. I but the, all of them. the first one, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> it's probably gonna embarrass me as a gamer. I never beat the first one. Oh, you yeah. want to know why? Oh, I think I couldn't. I don't know. There was one of the levels I just couldn't get past. Yeah, it was fucking like I, remember I don't were... remember which one. I just know one of the hardest levels was when you, the trains were coming on by and oh, you had to shoot shit. that one bitch who's really good at aiming. <laughs> remember? I think I do remember. Yeah, that. dude, that, that that there was. Shoot? I remember one time I was stuck and it ended up being there was a padlock on the door and you just had to shoot it and I was like, damn, <laughs> they went into that much detail. <laughs> It's amazing. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. Also, you could get a taser, like in the second oh, one. Oh, dude. And yes. if you held the taser, they set on they fire. They would get on fire. <laughs> so they're like, Aah. I was doing that for like 10 minutes or like 15 minutes. And my brother's like, all right, dude, you dude, need a like, fucking I think like, he turned chill. into a psychopath. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> you could even do it with their dead bodies. I remember. Yeah. You could just be like, and they're like, I would yeah. like oh, laugh my ass killers. off. <laughs> yeah, I would laugh my ass off. So my brother was like, "Dude, he's all like, right, dude, man. I don't like, know if you should be he's playing." Like, I think this. my brother's a psychopath. I'm not to say the David. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that's fun. All right, so David, bring it on to the next. Yeah, thing. damn, you really want me to get deep with this shit? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. we'll palate cleanse oh, with that. Man, all right. Did you? Okay, so you guys heard about this documentary? Leave, uh, leaving Neverland? Yeah, so I, I got, like, a little gist of it. Like, Jose brought it up to me, but I, I didn't watch it. So, Dude, Jose, did you watch it? I didn't. I just, I know so much about it because it's been covered on podcasts oh, slash man. commentary slash memes slash everything. So, it's, like, raw palette, semi cleanse like, like, I have a little, like, informed about it. Definitely have a lot of people that are actually talking to me about, like, the details of what happened. Mm -hmm. And my... 
my coworker at work went into raw detail about what happened. Dude, yeah, and, like the oh, details. Oh, yeah, and I was just like, when he was telling me this, I thought he was just like a little bit stuff for it. But it's like you have to get messed up when you hear about this kind of stuff. And then relaying it back to you, you've seen it now, right? Jesus Christ, yes. So what's the deal? God damn, there was so many moments when I was watching this damn documentary. How long is it? Okay, it's two. The documentary itself is uh, two episodes. There's two parts basically, and they're both like two two hours. Have both parts been released? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh snap! So it was four hours of my life just listening to fucking molestation stories. Yeah. God damn it, Jesus! Dude, Christ. there were so many moments where I was like, you know, Macaulay Culkin has just opened up since about it too as well. What did he say? I don't know. There was a really really attention grabbing line, and I was just like, <laughs> what did he say? Talk about this later. <laughs> no, I don't know what he said, but but supposedly because that's what I was wondering. I'm like, okay, there is so many. Uh, I, oh my god, like you guys need to. See, it's like you guys need to see it, but also oh. I don't know if I want you guys to see it because it was it was too fucking like I was. And how much of this is like 100 percent proven, or is it all just from the horse's mouth? You know, I mean, yeah. There's that's I was trying to be super objective going into this. Like, okay, I don't know if I believe this 100 percent because it's like there's so many things. It's like he's dead, you know. And it's like why now? You yeah. Know? But then they like the way that they explain it. I don't know, man. I feel like there's a lot of truth there, dude. Like it felt real. Yeah. Now, maybe that Wade guy is a little fishy, which is the guy that ended up becoming like a backup dancer, and uh, he was like even like a backup dancer or uh, uh, not a backup dancer. I'm sorry, a choreographer. And he was, like, so good that he even fucking... He was, like, teaching Britney Spears and, and Justin Timberlake. And they even say that he's the guy that's responsible for the... That's who she cheated on uh, Justin Timberlake with. Oh, really? Yeah. Word? He's the crime of the river guy. That's the dude. That's Supposedly. The that's what they're saying. He cried rivers before her, though. That's true. Damn, bro. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> dude, there's so many details, man, where I was just like... And then, like, he started, like, describing which rooms they did it in. Yeah. And, like... He, and okay. it's true like there is and then they show like footage and there's like so many locks on every single door and then it's like he had the whole hallway rigged up so that if somebody walked in the hallway bells would go off in his room and shit that's, that's what, what you were telling, telling him that's what you were telling that, I, that, that one fact from somebody was like saying it on a podcast they were saying like that he, he had a whole thing rigged up and I guess if you would walk down that corridor like he would be able to hear it in his room and that that would give him the chance and the opportunity to be like alright everyone close on let's do this and he would have them rehearse and shit he'd be like okay somebody's coming like what are you gonna do or whatever and then they would like you know he would drill them that's what they were saying I mean I don't know if it was true he would also drill them allegedly huh yeah and he would also <laughs> then he would drill them after yeah, that was terrible yeah, what the fuck? oh my god I would you do you that set me up for that I'm I would sorry. do that I don't know even what I'm saying dude, I'm like that's what? like a terrible if joke if I throw softballs up and then you just hit them <laughs> don't dude, throw like, those alright come on god. someone throws them you throw them up in the air then you go, god. god damn bro it's just inviting I don't like that it's an dude. American pastime alright anyways alright uh, no man it was, there was so many moments where I had to like pause it dude and it was just like I don't know if I can keep watching this man this shit's too rough for me you see my Right now on this side of the room, I have not seen this. God so maybe damn. those jokes yeah, will yeah, right out of the place. But, I mean, thinking about it a little bit more, to to have that go through the news and happen the way it did, and then that man just, well, Michael Jackson just walked Scott free out of that, right? Yeah. I mean, I can look at it into a little bit more, but it's like... I mean, they even go into that, like... Do, did they, he get away Scott Because they were, those guys were like the ones that were used in the trial, and they uh, were like defending him. And then they said like... They basically go through like their whole thought process and like how they, at when they you know grew they up, lied under oath and then basically went on to be like, wow, that was messed up. Well, one of them was fourteen when he did that, and then the second time that they asked him to do it, I don't think he did it when he was older. Really? Yeah, and that's the guy that feels the most real. Like Wade, he feels real too. But I mean, like I don't know, there's fishy stuff there. But what with the, the other guy, well, the other, go oh, forward, but we'll go back. What's the fishy stuff about? This? I don't know. Just like because he's always been in the spotlight, he's had like a you know I don't know. He just seems like. The other guy seems real. Like, this guy seems more like he's in the fame and he's into that whole thing. Gotcha, like the other guy, like, yeah. never went for, like, he's just doing his own damn thing. And he's, like, living a life, like, under the radar and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then he came out of nowhere. He's the one that didn't do the, the testimony the second time, I think. And then after after Wade came out, that's when he was like, all right, you know what? It's time that I, that, you know, I face this. And then he came out and, and shared his whole side. How many kids all together? I don't know, dude. Too many to count? Jeez. Because then there's like what that Jordy, Gordy, Jordan, whatever, Gordy. and then yeah, and then there's so many. It was like so rough, dude. I was like, That's there was moments for four where... hours of that. 
Yeah, dude. Wait, hold on. How long is this? How long is this? The total two, is like four, four you said hours. Two, four two hour segments, mm-hmm. aka four hours of this. Yeah. Was there anything Jesus at the end of the credits? I'm sorry? Is there anything at the end of the credits? <laughs> Post credits? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's about Prince. I'm like, yeah. ooh, next one. Next one. No, no. But uh, it was a lot of details. So much details. And like, he even the one of the kids, he like did like a like a mar- marriage ceremony thing with him and he got him like rings and he has the rings and they're kid size. Holy oh my man. god. So it's like, dude, there's evidence to this shit that like it, it fits, man. So one of the things that I heard that uh Michael Jackson would do is that he would like buy out like a grocery store. And, oh yeah. And he would pay. They, they said that shit in the Joe Rogan podcast, didn't, didn't they? they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, someone told me this at work. Oh god. Okay. Oh, so he probably got it from Joe Rogan podcast. But like it's like they would uh because I heard there I heard the podcast that, that was on, but I don't think I heard it all the way. Oh, okay. I have this weird thing where I start them and then I look at the next one. I'm like, oh, I'm so behind. And then I just keep on going forward on those. You can't, re- you can't watch all those. I mean, oh, you can't hear all those. It's just too much time. I, I do it at work. Okay, anyways, right. go ahead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that he would uh, like rent out like a grocery store and then he would like pay people to act like normal people in there. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and that basically like he would just go in and act like he was just like a regular shopper. And the only reason that they brought that up is because I work at a grocery store. So it's like, mm-hmm. it was like, dude, it's like, what would really happen? He's like, well, then he would have to have someone super catty be like, oh, oh my God, no, why don't you have mangoes right now? I'm like, I don't know, because it's the opposite year, the opposite side of the year where you would need these goddamn mangoes. It's not in season. It's not in season. Yeah. He's like, I thought you guys are always out of stuff. Go fuck yourself. This is like some deep, deep shit yeah. that's going on, that's coming yeah, out right I now. Think it's ridiculous. Yeah, I think there's some... Uh, Watermelon is not always some, in season. <laughs> you're dealing some with hidden some aggression season coming season. out, you know? Hey, bro, we check our problems at the door, bro. Yeah, it's like, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, shit. No, but there's some parts. You know what? I really don't. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck. No, there's some parts that, uh, like, I, I, like, was like, okay, you got Macaulay Culkin, who's, like, still. I mean, I had thought that he was, like, on Michael Jackson's side. And then you even got that other one, the. I forgot what the guy's name is. He was, like, coming out and he was talking about other people that are pedophiles and shit. And, like, even he defended Michael Jackson. Really? Yeah. Who defended Michael Jackson? I don't know his name. Um, So, like,. You have, like, situations where we're in, like, now where it's, like, all right. So, you have R. Kelly, right, doing the things that he's done. So, the interesting thing to tell you is that uh, the the woman to bail him out of the Chicago jail, R. Kelly, by the way, um, is from our neck of the woods. It is uh, – <laughs> she's from Romeoville. Romeoville, Illinois. That's crazy. Mm. Yeah. There's not much to do out there, so pretty much everyone's – Man, activity is just bailing dudes out, right? I mean, yeah. whether they're famous or not, I think. Yeah, I mean, so, <laughs> so it goes it goes into two two things of either a she's she's a she's a huge R. Kelly fan, or b she it's a conspiracy and like you know they probably funneled money to her and probably gave her some extra money Damn. for her troubles. She's a business owner supposedly. So the thing about uh, what I mean, happened, that's just a conspiracy. And now she's in the business of bailing out pedophiles. I don't know. Well, the thing is, like, I'm pretty sure they're like and boycotting business whatever is she a has. booming. She's a booming. I don't know. I I feel like this is. I mean, in the same way, when the reason I brought it up was because the same way that R. Kelly has now come out and done that. Now everyone stopped working. With R. Kelly, right? I mean, and it has stopped working with R. Kelly for a good amount of time, right? I gave y'all but... 30 mirrors of my cool. <laughs> Y'all killing me with this, <laughs> man! Me with this shit. But I mean... All the memes, man. Michael Jackson's dead. I mean, what are people going to do to boycott Michael Jackson? He's the king of pop. Did you know that actually... Oh, shit, we just lost a square. Uh, <laughs> did you know that uh, um, actually since the documentary has dropped... Michael Jackson's songs have been really? going up. <laughs> Let me listen to this crazy. Like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, man, that's dude. some shit. No, it's like no. Because this hear. is thriller. <laughs> yeah. like, wow, he is. Uh, he's really digging that. And I yeah, think so, he's digging that. Did you know that also? Who owns the royalties to his music? <sighs> Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson owns the well, royalties. No, oh, to the, the Beatles. I mean, no, but he he's dead now. So music, though. who who really? has that? Now? He owns the Beatles music. Oh yeah, yeah he did. He did. And uh, that's why it's now <laughs> finally on iTunes. Is because he's dead. I think. They were saying right. that uh, also. Um, really, is that why? Yeah, they're also saying that that um, on the Joe Rogan podcast, that same episode that you're talking about, that he owns the rights to the Happy Birthday song. <laughs> yeah, I was like, how does that work? I don't understand, but yeah, it's weird. So that was such weird. a it's a ditty for like everybody. Why would somebody own the rights to that? I so know. you're telling me nobody can go on YouTube 
or like, like any platform and just sing the happy birthday the song birthdays. without getting copyright me. <laughs> restricted. Ignorant. But um, I was going to get to the, Oh, okay. The main point, just the main point. The one thing that, that keeps that I was like, I didn't know what to believe, but then I saw it and I was like, well, it feels like it's real is uh, Latoya Jackson's all her Latoya Jackson's um, interviews. She was like one of the only ones in the beginning that like came out and spoke against Michael Jackson. And she was like, he's like, yeah, he's doing, you know, shit with kids. And they're like, they would make her, they would paint her out to be like the crazy person. She's crazy. She's ignorant. Yeah. And she's like, dude, I, I'm speaking out against this because I was sexually abused by the father. And that's why I'm against this and I'm not going to stand for this or whatever. And she was that's like, you know, do all that. I mean, look at the, look at the, just the, the timeline for Michael Jackson, like, I don't know. If someone just showed me the timeline for Michael Jackson, no words, no singing, but just like pictures of like him going down the line, I'd be like, that guy did some crazy ass shit. That guy's messed yeah. up. <laughs> that guy, some, he's made some crazy ass decisions. She even book. said she's like, it's a 30 year old man. What 30 year old man is going to have like a, a, you know, amusement park and have a bunch of kids with him at all times? Like, you think that's right? That's the real red flag, regardless of like the evidence or anything. Like, that's like, in 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 and of itself, spending thirty days with a kid, like that's what the evidence is, is that he like spent thirty days with a kid in his bed. What the f- like that's like, and then like yeah, the main thing to drag from this whole documentary is like, what kind of moms? Like, what are you doing, man? Come on, for sure, get on your shit. I am for sure about one thing that if one guy was like, hey, let me sleep with your kid for like thirty <laughs> days, I'm like. Uh-huh. Get the fuck away from me, dude. <laughs> even Get away from my you, whole family. Even, we're if, you, kill even you. if you paid you a bunch of money? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I'm, just, that I'm, just, I'm just testing <laughs> your morality, yeah. man. No, the I'm just testing your like morality. How much, if I had said, like, how much money, that would prove how much character I am. <laughs> <laughs> I like, but I didn't say that. And that's when I'd call you a traitor. <laughs> a traitor to who? Uh, you're, you're my traitor. dignity? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Your children. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend watching this damn documentary. I'm going to watch this tonight. Uh, where can you find this so you can watch it? It's on, it's on HBO. <laughs> on HBO? Yeah. Too rich for my blood. You're talking about it. It's super cheap. I, <laughs> I was like, ah, I used the free trial, and I was like, I'll knock out Game of Thrones. i never seen Game of Thrones. Oh. oh. So I'm going to try and watch that. Prepare, so it, prepare to mainline, son. Yeah, dude. You're gonna, <laughs> you're, well, I've seen like a good three seasons, actually. Oh, then okay. why did you say the thing you previously said? Cause it's, Why it's did you so lie long. to everyone? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your season two is like falls forward. So I don't remember him. anything. I just remember a lot of naked chicks. Yeah, like, there, yeah. there was a lot. I just remember that chick. What's a her name? Lot of Amelia shit. Clark. Oh, oh yeah. That's the real reason why I want to watch it again. That's, that's like secretly like when the Han Solo movie came out and then she was in it. I was like, you're, you're I know we do. Like, <laughs> that's the only reason why I'm watching. She's, she's a pretty woman. Okay. I didn't see it, but yeah. <laughs> are you, are you talking about Solo? Emily or whatever? Yeah. Emily Clark. Emily, Emily, Emily yeah, Clark. That's her name. Yeah. I think she did a tremendous, like a tremendous job on the Han Solo movie. I, mean, she, I, I personally did not hate that movie. I did not hate it either. I don't know why. Bombed so I bad. So I enjoyed in it. The Star Wars culture that it would take a lot to like. Well, it took about yeah. It took uh, the newest Star Wars actually. The, the oh, the Last Jedi. Yeah. 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 Well, you didn't like it. No, it it just it just. Uh, I, I left. I, don't know, uh, I left unsatisfied, and it was like, yeah, you gave me what is it? Almost three hours of Star Wars It's like you gave me like a shitload of Star Wars, and I appreciate that at a very high quality rate, but. What the what the hell did that movie do? It killed Luke Skywalker. Dude, Dude for it, no reason whatsoever. It just it just I don't know. It killed off it killed off a, a trilogy of character building for one man off the bat. Just killed it off. Who? Like Luke Skywalker. Oh. Like a tr- you spend a trilogy building up this character and then you murder him, right? Yeah, and th- th- there was no there was no for or not foreshadowing. Like even like flashbacks on like or much flashbacks on just what Luke did after, like the original trilogy, like drink a bunch of weird milk, I guess. Yeah, milk. drink a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. oh, yeah. Drink a uh, bunch of weird milk and then I understand. Hang what out guys. with some weird like nun things. Yeah. I don't really know what's going on. Hanging out with regular nuns is weird. So a little like I understand what you guys are, are saying, <laughs> but I liked it. I thought it was. You liked it? it? Yeah. You're, you're like, like you like it. You like get it. out of you my house. Like, you like it. Well, yeah, I mean, who's finishing the, the third one? I'm sorry. Who's gonna do the third one? Who's gonna direct? I think. I think Ryan Johnson is really? doing it again. I think so. Nope. Have you not learned your lesson? 
I, I don't know. We do stuff. Like that. The, I mean, <laughs> that, 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 that was that was just something that I'd read. Um, I think, but I really think he is doing it again. I think he's gonna be working with somebody else. With or did they say that he was gonna get his own trilogy, and that's still happening? I have no idea. All right. Well, it's time to move subjects. Uh, <laughs> speaking of Disney, right? I mean, the new trailer for the Avengers came out, Endgame. Uh, and it's uh, the official trailer, right? The last one was a teaser trailer. Um, and I wanted to see it. I saw it with you three guys, right before, or you two guys, right before we got on the show. And I have to say, I am super stoked to see it unfold. Like, I think uh, this is going to be obviously the best movie of the year. Um, everyone's super excited to see where it goes. There's so much lore out there and people making up their theories of what's going on. And it's exciting to see it. It's plaguing all the meme culture that we have. Uh, and I mean, the most exciting thing I thought, like looking at it was, uh, I don't know, kind of like the new suits were really nice. I thought they looked cool. I know everyone was like, I, 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 I everyone's like, talking I shit like on the them, suits. but they look pretty I like flashy. I think that's going to be like the, Halloween 2019. We dressing up, boy. The gender neutral. Are they gender neutral? Just because it's point. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think of gender neutral. Power as Rangers. Or maybe we saw Power Rangers. That's what you said out loud as it happened. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I saw the red A and I was like, the scarlet letter. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not what I was thinking about at all. I thought that, that looked good. I pre kind of watched it, kind of. Just because, like, they were at work, they were going to watch it in the corner of, like, the office, and they were just like, let's watch this. And I was like, I got I to go. I got to do stuff. And everyone was like, come on. We'll just play it, and you can just hear it. I'm like, no, that's even worse. <laughs> then I'm only going to hear ideas, not see them. We should do more reactions. We should, I mean, we should do reaction videos. Of yeah. That. Like, that would have been a perfect time to do a reaction yeah. video, but we, we can do that later reaction on. Reaction to porno. Sí, oh. Eso también. <laughs> <laughs> me, oh, me gusta man. el porno. Oh, my. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, that's not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, man. So, anybody, anything else? Don't you reveal my addictions, everyone. I, I have to personally apologize. Uh, there is a new Aladdin trailer that dropped. Did you guys hear uh, about Wait, this? another one? Another oh, one. Oh, it looked good. I, I only saw, like, bits and pieces, but, like... Everyone else who was posting it, they were like, oh, my God, I'm ready for it. <laughs> but <laughs> I that. That's my post, why are you making my voice like that? Uh, well, no, 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 not you. I but no, I, 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 it, it looked cool. It looked, they, they added a lot of action into it and stuff. I Is there guns it was, in the movie? No, there's no guns Dude, there's in the movie. Guns in it, Dude, that's the only reason I want to see any movies gun. gun. Dude, there's parkour. Oh, Aladdin does parkour, man. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's man. like Assassin's Creed. Oh. Arabian edition. A horrible oh. movie. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, dude, it looks good, man. I was like, fuck. I talk so much. I still hate Jafar. I'm going to say that. Jafar, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't like that, Jafar. But, what about Genie, though? I mean, that's what... Dude, people... but the Genie, though? Like, now, okay, the CGI, that, the CGI that they release now is, like, pretty solid. But damn. It's pretty good, man. Really? Yeah, and like, I feel like maybe maybe I was just like, it hit me too hard in the beginning, and I was too attached to like Robin Williams' genie. And maybe I was just like, part of our youth. needed to find closure with that. And now that I have, or I've gotten distance from that, seeing Will Smith again, man, I don't, he looks pretty good. Like, there's some funny parts in it. He's got like, it was working. I mean, someone casted for that, and they thought about the full implications of putting whoever it was in that position. So, I mean, they must have had a lot of trust in the fact that Will Smith would kill it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's nowadays. It's not like it's not like they were casting it and they were just like a real white guy. Or something. Yeah, that, <laughs> that chick is pretty hot. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Oh, let's all bring it back. That chick is pretty hot. <laughs> oh, just like you said, casting. They really did a good job <laughs> at casting that princess. Well, princess. I mean, that's like a very Genius, strong man. role. Like, genius. Like, a lot of... Yeah. It wasn't as strong as Genie's. Genie's was like the whole movie. That is like the that's like the most impactful thing out of that movie when you watch the original. The movie. chick? No, oh. Genie. Like the Genie character. Now, oh, yeah, yeah. that was a comedic relief. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I looked for. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Yeah. So you're saying that Jasmine was the the like one of the main things of that movie? No, no. no I'm saying that Genie is. That was oh. Say commenting on the last. Oh. Yeah, yeah I think last. you know you a little off. confusion. You me off guard. Now. Sorry. He, he thought you were talking about Jasmine the whole time. Jasmine's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Three podcasts for those. <laughs> 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 Boom. No. 
All right, so let's bring it back. I actually wanted to talk about this. I had seen an interview with Tobias Forge on the future. Tobias Forge is actually the, the front man of Ghost. We're going to go Plus see them. Rushers. Yeah, no, Ghost. We're going to go see them at Chicago Open Air. Um, and one of the subjects he talked about in that interview was the future of metal. And, you know, me, me and you were getting this argument about, like, uh, like it was like, oh, like, what's going to happen with, like, the metal scene and stuff like that? And I was like, I don't think you listen to enough metal, man. <laughs> and I, I hear what you're talking about, man, but I'm talking about, like, mainstream. Like, the metal is not in the mainstream right now. I'm just talking about the days of, like, you know, when I'm in rage right now, <laughs> I, know, I can see I'm like, looking you in the eyes because I'm like, because you're like, oh, dude, no, I'm no, I'm dude. No, shut up. Like that. Oh, that's that's the, did, no, that, that's no, I mean, you're being no, I mean, you're being a little bit of a like a purist a is what I'm saying. Like, what no, I'm saying, just saying, saying, but like not everybody's like that. I'm talking about like the the general like public and stuff like that. Like, you know, I'm talking about like when. Um, Black <laughs> Sabbath was like the biggest, the biggest thing, or like Metallica is even like you know the biggest thing. But the, the thing is like, what happens when those guys retire? Who's going to be taking up the mantle of like the face mm. of like metal? So okay, so like when mainstream, when I think about mainstream, I feel like yeah, radio play, right? Who's at a huge ass concert? Huge stadium filling, huge stadiums, right? Guns and Roses, Kiss, that kind of yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, that's Understand, what I'm like, talking who's about. Do that? Yes, right. that's exactly what I'm talking about. No one's going to do that for real metal. I feel like there's like a cruise that goes, there's like you go on a cruise and it's a metal cruise. I don't think, I don't know how many people they're actually shoving in a metal cruise and they fill it up with a line up. There's walking open air. There's like, there's tons of like metal festivals that happen. Yeah. And they fill them up with a huge amounts of people. I mean, I can't just go down a list of them and tell you like headliner after headliner after headliner. But I mean, no one's going to fill like stadiums like Metallica has, but it's, yeah. I don't know. I feel like there's just tons of that kind of stuff out there. I feel like it's not, you just, you've just had what, how old is Metallica? Uh, they started like what? Late eighties, something like that. Yeah. So you have like what? 30 years plus of fans, you know, yeah. some of these, uh, it, it takes time to build a brand, you know? And I mean, yeah. there's a Metallica brand to be sold and done. And I mean, who's going to carry that as who else has been, who's been in the game 20 years filling stadiums, you know? Yeah. I mean, events sevenfolds building stadiums. Yeah. And, and that was wondering, I have actually, so I've I stopped I listening to that. That's uh, Los Tigres del Norte. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've actually stopped. Up I, I've stopped listening. is what they're doing. I, I've actually <laughs> stopped listening to them. Um, when they released the self-titled album and i'm not saying it's bad or nothing it's just i don't know it's just maybe i've gotten like too lazy with it of like trying to find new new music and stuff like that i I mostly just revert to listening to what i grew up with and i'm listening to black dahlia murder and like old um you know um, event sevenfold and whatnot i mean there's a few breakout new ones that i like but like i said that would be something like ghost and Ghost right now kind of has, you know, they're kind of like the new face and, and whatnot of, like, metal. I like them a lot. Yeah. I, like I mean, who's lot. who's headlining those two days? So, like, the headliner for Saturday, System of a Down. System of a Down. And I'm actually super stoked to see Who's Saturday. the headliner for the second night? Um, Boom. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't remember. I don't know. I thought that guy would carry the, court, the torch, you know what I mean? Like, but I don't know. I don't even know. I, and I actually feel bad for anybody who's going to the Sunday show because, uh, what was it, Keith Flint, I think was his name, and he was the headliner for Prodigy. And the Prodigy, if um, you know, from what I've read, was you know, it's kind of like one of those breakout bands for like like punk. He was like it was like a punk band, so I I kind of feel feel sorry for the fans who are gonna watch that show or like don't even know what's going on because as far as i know like you know the advertisements are still showing prodigy blah 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 it's like who but like who's gonna be front the front yeah who's gonna be the front man yeah so who's your favorite um metal band that not many people that's not so mainstream i should say uh smash potato (laughs) (laughs) that's that's a lie how many albums do you have with them uh all of them 
so I'm gonna die. Yeah. I have all of them. three shirts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him. Go get him, Eddie. I love you so much. I uh, I don't know. I mean, my favorite band out there right now. I mean, still producing. That music. that's not popular, right? You said. Yeah, it's not mainstream. Okay. Still producing music that I'm just like excited for the new album. Broke up. I mean, I was like super stoked for Vector. I've been a big Vector fan and have all like every vinyl that I can sign by Vector, but they just broke up. So I don't know what to do now. I mean, uh, I don't know. In much of the way, it's like, uh, I don't know. I'm just not listening to as much metal because I've been more into rap lately. But yeah. uh, even then, yeah. it's like I started recently. I had like a, a math core like like splurge. Like I I don't know for some reason I got really into Polyphia. I sent you guys all that. Oh, dude, Polyphia was really was really, really good. good. And then I got into Chan right after that too. That's because a coworker at work just said, "Oh, you like these guys? Show me these guys." And then just mainlined another album. But I'm just Vince Staples. I've been listening to Smino like crazy, and I'm about yeah. to watch him on the thirtieth probably. Uh, hopefully, maybe not. I don't know. Just inventory the next day. God damn, my life sucks. Dude, <laughs> stop bringing your personal just, life onto the show, impressed, man. Dude, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't bring your personal life to the show, bro. Hey, bro. Yeah, yeah man. I thought we discussed this. <laughs> no, we never discussed <laughs> anything. <Personal> show, <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, that would. Yeah, and and for me, it's just like, uh, yeah, my metal things have just been what I've had listened to, and maybe a few new things, but. I've just been listening a lot of indie music, so like I just went from somebody. Both me and him, we used to have like super long hair, and we used to just be like, yeah, fuck yeah, metal, and then we just called everybody a bunch of pansies. And now it's just like I'm listening to that pansy music, and I, and I enjoy it thoroughly. I enjoy it thoroughly. <laughs> it makes me feel safe. It makes me feel safe. <laughs> yeah, it makes me warm and fuzzy inside. All right, so bringing it to our last subject for the day, it's definitely going to be the UFC event. I feel like we're getting one of these every weekend, right? Like, I mean, this is kind of a staple at this point. This right. one is gone. This one is great, though. And I said that about the last one just because Amazing. I feel like the last two events were really good. But I love when heavyweights fight. Like, I've been counting down for this one. This yeah. one's been very, very so special. Have, yeah, watching heavyweight fight because they – the they 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 get they're a little slower but and like um unless you're Mike Tyson those hands uh but yeah they're a little slower and they got a little less stamina because they got a lot of meat to move around <laughs> but um weird way to put it that's a little weird but uh, but I'll take it that's gonna make me look at you looking at that boxing match a little more different now <laughs> I'll, I'll take I'll roll with the punches on that one. But uh, yeah, like it's it's just like, but dude, they land bombs, man. Like imagine you getting hit by one of those meat hooks, like bah, meaty. You get you get fucked up. I feel like that's the equivalent of like you know they, people would grab like a like a mace or like something hard and like swing it. Oh shit! And swing it around and like hit someone with it. Like that's just like the momentum and the like the force of that's just so yeah. crazy. And that's like a Mike Tyson fight. Boom, like wasn't it, it wasn't Francis Ngannou's uh, punching power was actually like measured and it was like the same as a Ford Escort hitting you? Ford Escort is the weakest car out there. I uh, <laughs> I don't even know what a Ford so Escort yes. is. Thank you. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the knowledge uh, of cars is stupid. The car the car <laughs> itself is gonna be pretty fucking badass, man. Yeah. Do you know who's gonna fight? I have it. I'm gonna pull it up right now. I but all right, it. main event. Uh, Derek. No, Cole. no, don't stop, don't. We end with the main event. Oh my we're, God. we're going for... Uh, we have no format to this. Let's do, just do the last three fights. Vulcan Ozdemir with Dominic, Dominic Reyes. Motherfucking Reyes, dude. That guy is just on as much of a tear as I feel like anybody else in that division. Like, I, I feel like I, I, I'm excited to see his fights. I want him to go, I want to go see him in there, and I feel like he's going to plow through two more fights and then have a shot at a first contender. I feel like so three if he, more fights to a title if he wants. I feel like if he wins this fight really good, and then you get Johnny Walker to fight the next fight really good, he like does an amazing performance like he's been Johnny doing. fucking Walker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. If they both do phenomenal wins, shit, I want to see them fight so bad for Johnny, a top contender spot. Johnny Walker can't just win one more fight. He has to win two fights at least. Like he hasn't been tested. No one's dragged that dude out. This last guy, uh, Sirkinov, that's who everybody was saying was going to beat him. Cause he's actually really good with grappling. He knocks that motherfucker out. In, like, yeah, but he's seconds. never been dragged out into deep water. I know. And that's what they were trying to do with Gust- Gustafsson. But then Anthony Smith took that fight. So Anthony Smith. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's doing a quick turnaround and he's doing a fight on uh, Alexander Gustafsson. 
Really? Yeah. And his guy, Alexander, even said he said that uh, if he loses to... He's going to quit. Yeah, that he might not have it anymore. So I'm like, well, great. Now I don't know who I want to win. I love Anthony Smith after this last one. I don't know. I, I, I got a lot of respect for him. Yeah. Because he had an easy out. Anybody yeah. else would have been like... I mean, and I know like what kind of person does that. But I mean, that's like a million dollar check if yeah. you take that loss. And then it's John Jones. It's like John Jones has been controversial in everything. So it's like if he takes if he gets a loss a like that, it's only perfect because it's like... Everything else, and you know, he's always been controversial. I'll, I, you know, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't like John. Look Jones at all much. the spots on you, Jones. Why? Because you're a cheetah. <laughs> a cheetah. <laughs> Hashtag Pico Graham. Right. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Dominic Reyes looks freaking amazing. He looks so good. So I hope he wins. Uh, all right, next fight. Who do you got in that one? Do you got Dominic Reyes? The Dominic Reyes, hundred percent. Okay, cool. Uh, and then you got Leon Edwards and Gunnar Nelson. Gunnar Nelson. All day, baby. And that's, <laughs> All day. That's a great fight. Gunnar Nelson's turning out to be quite a personality. I really like did him. Did you see that video that he yeah, did? Yeah, I know. Oh I sent it to them. Because uh, it's so Gunnar funny. Nelson like dancing. He's like, and it's like in a yoga studio. Dude, they went. It. They committed so much to that video. They had like the whole gym like dressed in 80s outfits, like a workout video and yeah. shit. Is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah! You guys all just called me lame and threw things at me. Oh, I remember you came over and spilled no, a drink over my head. <laughs> that never happened. Like, I do that, that shit did. every other oh, day, motherfucker. Yeah, it, it did not. It happened. Yeah, it's gonna be. He's so funny, man. So convenient that only two people live in this house. Therefore, if you do something, my word is shit compared to yours. <laughs> yeah. You can just deny it. Yeah. And where's the proof? And now yeah. that's how Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. We brought it around some full circle. Yeah, in a full circle. Next right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got it right here. Dead in Teal. Dead in Teal. I don't really care. <laughs> what do you mean you don't care? I'm oh, saying, yeah. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? You. Damn, you don't uh, really, I don't okay. really care. I'm going to beat all these cons. You probably love that part about him because he goes on, uh, he's like a post fight interview or just an interview, and he's like, and he's like, I don't, and he's like, I have my. My wife is like, I don't really care. I have a, <laughs> he's like, I have a, a small two-year-old child. Could I not give a fuck. I don't, I don't really care. Like, it's like, I don't really care. No, it's like, you do the accent way better than me, but it's like, I can tell you, when I saw that, I was like, this now this is... man's going to be a champion. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, dude, you abandoned his child. And he's like, no. He's I don't care. He cares about being the world champion. I mean, how much time do these guys spend in a gym, man? Like, rolling around the floor with other dudes. Like, like that's like, <laughs> they, they, are, they are immersed in this lifestyle yeah. and like you're not gonna go back home and be like a like super energetic dad like you know like if you have a kid you're in a fight camp how much like how much out of the year if you're if you have two good fights or three good fights a year with like two two months set up like you're you're in a gym most of your most of your year yeah i mean yeah, he's really yeah. and he's saying like that's what he's saying like i don't care like i'm gonna I, do I, this he cares i think he just was trying to say like i'm focused on this shit like i had a kid i haven't even been there like i'm the I'm ready to fight. <laughs> I, I don't even I know her name been there. what's her mic no. here i think she weighs this much i don't know I'm i don't even fight. remember when i was a kid that's how separate <laughs> i am from the concept <laughs> do, you, do you know that he knows portuguese <laughs> yeah he was in brazil he got for a like bit. yeah he, he sat him down speaks. here when he got into like a crazy fight on the streets against kevin yeah he yeah. Got, <laughs> what? Got yeah you lost so bad you forgot about that shit. <laughs> <Jesus> <laughs> that's a lot of brain damage reconstruction uh, <laughs> this and, fucking uh, mic's gonna fall dude okay. jorge, jorge masvidal goes. right yeah he's been I'm, fighting dudes twice his size in backyards uh, uh, with Kimbo Slice. Really? Yeah, dude. Wait, you didn't know that? No. I know he's a motherfucker, but dude, what? You didn't? Yeah, he's like, he's like the second. Uh, he's like basically the protege of uh, Kimbo Slice. Whoa. Yeah, he like was fighting dudes like three times his size. He beat the shit out of this one guy, and he became like the champ of the backyard fights and shit after that. Dope. Yeah, and he's like after that he became professional and went to like legit. Fighting isn't Jorge Masvidal the guy they rumored was going to fight one of the Diaz brothers? Okay, he won. He was signed the contract to fight Nick Diaz, but then Nick Diaz had some other shit that came out, and he didn't do the fight. What is the other shit that came out? I don't know, man. The Diaz brothers haven't fought in like so long. I know. I'm just saying that because I'm so hurt. I, know. I just want to see them beat the crap I'm out with of someone. You, man. I want to see them fight too. And then slap. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to see. The and then Kevin slap. slaps yeah. me, and I'm like, ah, oh, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, well, give this to Jose. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> 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 we're like fighting with each other. <laughs> 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 like, All right, guys, I'm thinking Toy Sands here. All the guys in the middle. You guys need to <laughs> fucking relax. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> 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 my regards. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Masvidal. 
Yeah, all right, so, so but I know he's a motherfucker. I'm not like this bad at all. But who do you have in this fight then? Jorge Masvidal. Really? Yes, sir. He I has so much experience fighting guys that are bigger than him. People are like taking him. They're taking the size too much into consideration. It's like, dude, what is this fight at again? Like Tyron Woodley's weight. I don't know what it is. I welterweight. Dude, I, isn't it middleweight? No, it's welterweight. Is it? Welterweight? Yeah, because it's like, because I'm pretty sure the last fight Darren Till said he was gonna go up and wait because he hates weight cutting. Yeah. So it's like, how's his weight cut going to be this time? I mean, he said that he's got it down, but it's not, for a, it's not for a championship belt. So, I mean, the motivation isn't there. No, he's like more motivated than ever because he got his ass whooped by Tyron Woodley. He wants to come back now and he's in his hometown. He's trust yeah. me, the motivation. When he is fights there. in London. It's crazy. They line up. Uh, I mean, I don't know. That London- did you see? Hold on. Did you see Jorge Masvidal's uh, warm up? Oh, my God. He's so freaking funny, dude. Is he? Yeah. I love dude. Like He's okay, for him, like, there's like very few fighters that they hit this, like, they're just who they are. Win or lose, you like love, like, they're so freaking awesome. Like, like Chris Weidman or like, you know, Jorge yeah. Masvidal or like the Diaz brothers, like just who they are. Like, even Conor McGregor, like, even when he loses, it's like, you're still, he's, he's a, well, that him, he's more of like a character, you know, he does yeah. really good. But I mean, like, Jorge Masvidal, dude, he's like a G, dude. He's such a G. My favorite Conor McGregor thing is uh, the arm thing, of course. Like, everyone loves that. Mm. But it's also like this video that they have where he's like on a lowrider bike. And he's yeah, like, yeah, da 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 da. Like, he's that motherfucking D. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, dude. And, dude. and I showed that to him to, to and Kevin, and he's like, dude, this guy's funny as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> it makes you want to hang out with him, is what you want. And then yeah. it's like, anyone, I mean, it's like hanging out with you guys. Like, it's like, if you guys got in a fight, I'd bet $10 on the other guy. But I <laughs> but I definitely want to see you guys win. I mean, it's just rude for your boy. It makes you like fan. I mean, who's that other guy that I showed you? I forgot right now. Uh, uh, I don't know. No. Uh, Mike Perry. Oh, oh Mike Perry is hilarious. Yeah, uh, Mike Perry's hilarious, and it makes you want to root for him because you're like, you feel like he's one of your squad members. Like, he's just like, it's yeah, like, he's like one of your homies. He's like, he's and he's like, goes for like the handshake, and he's like, thought you had a friend, boy. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that was oh, awesome. Shit. Oh, yeah, dude. And he's like, he's on, he's on social media right now looking for his next fight because I know he just lost. Who did he lose to? He lost to Cowboy. And uh, and now it's like Cowboy Cerrone is another one of those guys. Yeah, win or lose. Oh yeah, win or lose. Oh, gee, but, dude, and a very good job. Like I feel like I got to be more of a fan of Cowboy through that uh, like uh, Joe Rogan podcast. I mean, obviously, it's like no matter who goes on there, I'm always a big fan of like Joe Rogan in general. But it's like to, to like kind of immerse yourself more in his personality. You're like, man, this guy's a motherfucking badass. There's a couple that that like through a podcast I like fell in love with like uh, Michael Bisping, dude. Oh, I used yeah. to hate Michael Bisping. Yeah. I hated him so much after that flag thing that he pulled. I was like, you don't rip somebody's flag up. That dude's a dick. Mm. But then uh, I'm like listening to his podcast like every freaking day now. He's like what? hilarious, dude. Yeah, you oh, haven't heard man. his podcast? No, I've heard him on the Jerogan podcast, and I, 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 that's how I started. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Uh, and I've heard him through like this MMA World uh, YouTube channel that I saw. Like, I, I see him commentate like on a lot of stuff, and I actually do respect his opinion a lot. I mean, I just dude. haven't been drawn to him like that hard. But He's I mean, pretty good. Man. He was he was pretty good on Jerogan podcast. I really liked it. Um. Israel I mean, Adesanya. Does he have his own podcast? No, but he was on the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, yeah, that was dope. That was dope. Yeah, it makes you like him a yeah, lot. I was it like, makes dude, you I feel like, like he's going to kill someone with his bare hands. He probably could. He's probably done it already. Maybe, maybe for mocking him about a previous thing he said before a podcast. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, sometimes with Kevin, I'll do something, but my mocking is 100% exaggerated where it's like my eyes roll back and I'm just like... <laughs> It's like Jesus Christ, man. I do too. I'm a little <laughs> decent stealer. <laughs> I do too. I'm in public, like in public places. Oh, I'll do it anywhere. Oh my me god. Me and Kevin have gotten to full fledged fights at Best Buy, dude. Oh right. yeah, you were telling me about that. <laughs> oh yeah. Best stuff things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> where one of the employees went up to us and was like, hey, "Is everything all right here?" Yeah. And I turned around and I was like, "Sorry, this is just my best friend. I just treat him like shit till he pops." <laughs> you guys are like a freaking relationship. Man. I know. It's pretty. It's that pretty. How long have you guys lived together? Uh. Probably since uh, October. Yeah, so we're going to have six of months. 2018. Uh, yeah, well, that's pretty. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's not that long, but it feels like you guys have been living together forever. <laughs> like, I mean, like, the, well, I mean, we've been friends yeah. for like forever. We were third grade. Yeah, yeah. since we were eight years old. And you, came, you were, you were right there with us, bud. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. 
Well, I'll ne- wait, way. I just want to say right. I will never forget when you fucking called me a dumbass in fucking third grade because I didn't know the times oh. tables of seven. Oh, we were supposed to recite Yo, it. Bringing up remember, some old shit. Remember third grade Mrs. Today, Churchill's when I, class. When I brought up the fact that I would have to do inventory and you guys just laid my head out and just took a little <laughs> firm shit all over it. <laughs> Now this is bringing some personal shit. To the <laughs> yeah, this, this is a <laughs> mad. Yeah. Shit. We gonna talk about some we shit. We gonna talk about some shit. I don't know. I feel like I didn't even remember I did that shit, dude. You, remember, <laughs> you affected my life. Oh. I didn't affect your life. I still remember it. <laughs> it's been years. I remember plenty of shit you guys did to me. I remember him leaving me at a family party outside his family party, and I just had to hang out by myself and be like, "Good." Sup, now smaller. I feel better about my past. Yeah, too. I remember. I remember. <laughs> I remember every one of you guys doing something that I thought was like fucked up to me, but then afterwards, uh, about two two hangouts later, I was like, eh, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of that kind of guy. But also, that's the reason I'm a good troll because like I poke, I poke, I poke, and then I just and then as soon as you get super mad, I walk away. <laughs> and then two away. days later, I'll be like, dude, why are you even mad at me? And he's like, for that shit you said. <laughs> what did I say? And he was like, I always talk shit to you guys. I don't know. It's, Fat it's bastard. Just, so you got you... mad at me because <gasps> he didn't get a Snickers bar. Uh-oh. Damn you. <laughs> you, bro. Salt nah, bro. Snickers like this. <laughs> well, I guess you're probably hungry, right? You needed yeah, a Snickers. Needed and that's it. why you're probably being like that. I would have turned into like a small white boy if I didn't even Oh, it. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, who do you have in the fight? Oh, Jorge Masvidal. Masvidal, you yeah. still there, right? Yeah. I have Darren Till. Darren Till. Are we going to bet on this or what? Let's bet. What are, Man, you guys are going to run out of money. What are we going to bet? Keep betting. I bet you that side of the podcast. I want to be on that oh. side of the podcast next time. But I'm on the right side because I'm always right. Ain't that oh, right? <laughs> we'll see this next time when he's on the left. Cut it! <laughs> Cut it! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, is that all the fights? Uh, so, well, that's the, 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 the main, main events. The, because these are happening every week, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm becoming less and less informed on the undercards because they are really guys that only have five, six fights. Yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, uh, we should just concentrate on the, the uh, main cards. Main cards. But, uh, that is the main I, card, I have... except one fight. All right, so that's all for the fights? Yes. And whatnot? I have one story Ooh. I forgot to mention. Um, Snoop Dogg oh. made his own esports league. What? Yeah. So right now, I, th- I think it's a uh, it's a uh, N- NFL Madden. So that's what the tournament is. And basically, he made his own. His, he's making his own tournament, and teams are going to be playing. And uh, I think the pot is at um, eleven thousand dollars for for the pot, and also he is like cannabis will be smoked oh, so before, during, and after by all the players and commentators and everything. Dang. He he wants it to be like it's the just norm. gonna be a quiet ass place. <laughs> Everybody's just like. <laughs> Oh fuck you, bitch! <laughs> like, yeah. you live, bro? <laughs> no, but I think I, me like this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's hilarious. But like, yeah, he made his own esports like, because that's something w- we didn't know. Like, you know, he's an entrepreneur. He's made his own music and blah blah blah. What's and, it called? But he's also an avid gamer. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the coolest things I thought about Battlefield One. Uh, remember in Battlefield One uh, when they were doing like the the E three showcase? Yeah, they had a bunch of people in there, and it was Snoop Dogg was in there. Playing. Yeah, Snoop Snoop Dogg was playing on uh, the Xbox One, yeah. like playing Battlefield. He leaves like Dog, this he was is a shit. It. Um, the the you know a lot of celebrities are like coming out showing like you know they're interested in the gaming community because like it's no longer like um, nerd loser. Thing. Yeah, nerd, like it's mainstream, um, like. Uh, Terry Crews, he is yeah, an he had, avid PC gamer. Yeah, he now. like built one with his son, didn't he? The, yeah, he built one with his son, and everybody like who's watching it was like trying to help him out. It was like with the tips, like oh no, put this here and blah oh, blah blah. That's awesome. Yeah, like they were helping him out the whole time. And um, another thing, uh, you know, Post Malone also got a PC made by uh, somebody. Oh, this yeah. Uh, yeah, this tech tuber, um, Jay's Two Cents. Shout out. Um, Jay's two cents built him a PC where there's like there's like a guitar end on it and like blah 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 and he wanted it to make it like a you know Bud Light focused because I guess he really likes Bud Light oh, and that's okay. kind of what he focused on his new album. Is he gonna start streaming too or what? Uh, I don't know. I mean that guy has a he'll probably have such. A- I I don't think he'll have time to do it because he's doing other stuff. Mm. You know. Who knows? That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. 
But yeah, so guys, that was the show. Um, be tuned for next week. We'll be back, and I'll I'll try to drop down time time slots into the description so it'll be easier to navigate. So I'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Just a little taste. A little taste of the good life. Yes. A little yes. taste of the good life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <yeah. laughs> mm.